conclude nothing is going on record please no no you have to you have to keep back. please sandosh kumar thank you sir please please nothing is going on record now please dr jain please thank you sir manya sadas kripya samay ka palan kare thank you please. sir as uh, pointed out my uh, most of my fellow speakers the amount of money sought as uh, supplementary grant is indeed a very high amount the calculations uh, it is at around the 10 percentage around 89 percentage of the budget expenditure either the calculations must have went off wrong or mismanagement must have happened anyway i would like to urge through you sir the finance minister to advise the ministries and departments to be more vigilant more careful while preparing the budgetary proposals secondly we have heard a lot of uh, lot from the treasury benches they all were trying to project a rosy picture of the economy i would like to remind them of one important factor we are at the 75th years of of independence and where we have reached 77 percentage of the total national wealth is being handled by 10 percentage of the population this is the reality the prime minister must have annoyed on getting this much of praising from your side anyway this your own business i don't want to comment on that but kindly understand that this gap is widening day by day the haves and have nots this is increasing day by day i would like to ask the finance minister do you have any concrete plan idea to control this for example you are taxing the poor and common man day by day the petroleum prices have reached an all time high no one is here to control the only business of the government has become to deregulate everything deregulation is the main business whatever you have controlled you had controlled you have re regulated they are trying to re uh, regulate it and income tax are very high so that must be reduced corporate taxes are very less it must be enhanced and wealth tax must be introduced 2015 in the year wealth tax was actually uh, abolished by the then fm sri arun jetli i don't want to comment on that but i would like to request this government to introduce wealth tax once again and now again the other day derek kobrian ji was quoting about the um uh, bjp manifesto i don't want to comment on that but let me quote from the nidhi ayog report nidhi ayog in place of this planning commission nidhi ayog was introduced and they came out with a 230 page report in the year 2018 18 and the topic of the report was strategy for new india at the 75th years means this year and what was the projection the report provides a certain uh, you know interesting projections uh, let me tell you one thing the its prediction was the gdp growth will be 10 percentage by 2022 and where we have reached according to the world bank next year it will be go, it will be uh, going down to 4.8 percentage and another interesting projection was by 2022 every indian will have a bank account excellent insurance pension and retirement planning services etc and now we have became the second largest unbanked population in the world what do you have to say thirdly talking about malnutrition when we talk about international agencies they have they don't have any faith in it they say uh, the whole world is looking for india the leader okay but when we talk about uh, this international reports they have no faith in it for example global hunger index they say no it's a fraud report no point in it but let me tell you according to the our own family health survey 2021 the rate of mal, uh, uh, underweight children is 32.1 percentage in many states and 35 percentage of children below 5 years are are actually was stunt so this is the reality kindly understand and leave the case of common man Uh, 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 for the time being cgh scheme the central government health scheme started in the year 1954 it has become irrelevant in this country because of uh, you know not pro proper payment 
uh, in many, uh, it has slowly losing its relevance, low rate of reimbursement, excessive delay in pay payment. So this to be addressed. And for a, one more thing I would like to tell you, the manual scavengers, last year, 300, 330 manual sca scavengers died in this country. The projection of the report of the Nidhi Ayog was, this will be abolished by 2022. Then this is 2022, sir. What happened? Nothing happened and nothing is going to happen. And uh, I, would have to, I would like to add one thing about the Nidhi Ayo. Nidhi Ayo has become a Nidhi Duryog like thing. In place of planning commission, this was emerged. Then now they, they say, my fellow speaker from Kerala also pointed out that they want to disband the rubber board. The other day, Biplav Deji was up actually raising a private member's motion to start a new board, Agarbati board like that. Now this government, this Nidhi Ayo has planned to, as suggested, to dismantle the rubber board. Now, the MNREG, many speakers have put, let me, allow me two minutes, sir. Please, uh, please MNR, conclude. I did not make even my, my uh, madam speaker. Uh, <laughs> MNREG scheme also. The finance minister was saying on the other day in the Lok Sabha that demand has reduced. It's not that, sir. MNREG has actually become a kind of exploitation because no, that much problem. We demand that at least 700 rupees must be paid to the workers. Otherwise, this will not survive. The rural Thank economy you. is facing Thank a lot of issues. And uh, finally, Thanks. I would like to conclude by saying that Thanks. the majority of the dueling response session has become a menace to the federal sector of this country. Thank and you. they want to dismantle everything. Thank they you. are against the idea of India. Thank so you. So kindly stop this. Thank and you. And with these words. Thank you. Mani Ghansyam Tiwariji. Eight minutes. <clears throat>